Hello and welcome to Friday's Masterclass edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where I'm going to attempt to solve today's Times Crossword. Mark and I have been doing this, uh, well, for the last few months actually, and the, the videos do seem to help people to acquire the skills necessary to solve these cryptic crosswords. Now, the, the reason we tend to do Friday in the Times is it's very often the hardest of the week, and that is absolutely the case this week. Uh, I've checked the snitch this morning, and the snitch is very, very high, which means this is a way above average difficulty puzzle. And I just had a look at the stats as well. And if we have a look at this, hopefully you'll be able to see this on the screen. Um, uh, I mean, Andy Fisher is the first name there that I'm sure is a genuine solver. The, these people at the top have, have just solved it on paper and then typed in the answer. Not that impressive, but Andy Fisher is definitely a true. That's 12 minutes, um, which is a long time. Let's, let's have a look. Um, GL Heard is definitely real, 15 minutes. Tom Stubbs is definitely real, 19 minutes. Um, so actually, let's just scan down. Yeah, and still a lot of people are getting into the top one. Well, in fact, it hasn't even had 100 souls yet. Look at that. So this is uh, clearly a bit of a monster, but let us, let us, let that not stop us. I'm gonna have a go at this. Um, right, where are we here? Let's go, let's get cracking. Um, is it on the screen? I think it is. Okay, so set up clubs supported by important individual. Hmm. No, I mean, let me explain what I'm thinking about that clue. Remember, there's always a definition in any cryptic crossword clue. There's always a definition. Here, I suspect the definition is set up. So uh, my first thought was establish. Um, but I don't think it is that. Clubs very often is C from bridge abbreviation. If you bid two clubs, you'd write 2C on a bridge scorecard. Um, so C, but supported by, often supported by would appear in a down clue. Because if, if, if some section of the wordplay is supported by some other section of the wordplay, it would lie beneath it. Um, uh, whereas in an across clue, it can't have that meaning. So clubs supported by and then important individual. I've got nothing there. I'm just not. I'm just not understanding that. Let's have a look at one down. Humorous. I'm thinking comic immediately. Ridicule, which affronted nurses. Yes, I have got that. Absolutely, it's a, it's so so beautifully worded that. Um, now these are the clues that if you if you're new to times crosswords. There's almost always one of these in every Times crossword. The ease with which you can spot them depends on the brilliance of the constructor. And this constructor has, has not only been brilliant in terms of the wording of this, which is hard, which is, makes it hard to pass, but also <laughs> the way that the, the, the words split across the, um, across the line, this sort of typeface used means the which and affronted appearing in different uh, lines of text, which makes it even harder to spot this. The answer here is chaff. Um, and that is because the um, the words which and affronted nurse, they sort of cuddle, you know, you might nurse a drink, you sort of, you take it very slowly, you sort of look after it. Well, the, the letters of which affronted are looking after the, 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 word, the letters of chaff spelt in order, C-H-A-F-F, -F, and humorous ridicule is chaff. So I, th I think we are away. Uh, look, we get the C, which is probably this clubs thing here, supported by on. Yeah, I quite like that. So con, set up. A set up is a uh, contrafabulation. I don't know. Um, by important individuals, someone important. Important could be a th it could be a three-letter word for important, and an individual could be a one, like O N E. Set up con. Ah, why can't I see that? Let's see if we can justify the N. Complex number precedes zero. It must be something like neuroses. If you have a complex, you have a you're sort of neurotic, aren't you? Um, number I think is going to be N or N-O precedes zero. I could, it could mean this ends in O. Don't know, not getting it. Nine across, draw, attract. 
cover for anti-racist leaflet. Draw cover for anti-racist. Oh, it is an it is a tract. Gosh, the covering letters. So at the, the reason I, I paused over that clue is I was thinking, what on earth is a short synonym for anti-racist? And I couldn't come up with anything anything obvious. Um, and that suggests that the constructor has used anti-racist not for its meaning, but for the specific letters that are included in the word. And if we look at the covering letters, the sort of out, you know, the envelope, the, 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 the outside letters of the word anti-racist, they are A at the start and T at the end. So we put A at the start and T at the end, and then we follow it with a, a synonym for a leaflet, which is a tract. And that gives us a tract, which means draw. So it's just very, very, it's another beautifully worded clue, draw cover for anti-racist leaflet. Um, yeah, it's a very, very... Oh, well, this could be nothing. Yes, it is nothing. Right, so number can be abbreviated to NO. If you have a complex about something, we said it was a neurosis, it's a thing. You have a thing about it, don't you? So we have the NO preceding thing, and that gives us nothing, which is a synonym for zero. Uh, 11, shy, I'm thinking fling. If you if you shy, a coconut shy, it means you throw coconuts at things. If you fling something, um, you throw it and a couple's brief relationship. So this is a very, this is interesting, isn't it? Because it's a very simple clue in the sense uh, it's just a double definition. We need to think of a word for shy and we need to think of a word for a couple's brief relationship. And then it's funny how, you know, you can often overcomplicate crossword clues, but that's an example of something where we mustn't overcomplicate it. Now, tiresome activity, removing length of cloth as standard. Ooh. There are loads of loads of short synonyms for lengths of material and sizes of text and things like that. So I'm thinking this means a standard. And I was thinking par, and then I was thinking flag. A flag is a standard, but obviously flag is four letters. Tires, tires oh, okay. Tires activity could be a drag. Removing length of cloth. Blah. I haven't. Not, I don't understand what that is. You'll you'll be gathering. Let's have a look at three down. Maiden often. Well, there's two things to think about with with maiden. Maiden can be M, an abbreviation, because of cricket scoring. Uh, we've got the Ashes going on at the moment. Now, I would just justify that because this is a, a um, this is something that people often ask questions about. That they 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 see somebody doing a cryptic crossword, and it seems to them as if we're able to abbreviate anything, any word to its initial. That is not true. You can only abbreviate words that have an abbreviation in the dictionary. So get a good dictionary. The Chambers is um, the one used by, I think, most crossword editors in the world. Um, and if we go down here, I'm pretty sure we will find, and now we're not going to find it, um, maiden is not there, is it? Where is maiden? Maybe it's a capital. Um, may, there we go. M. Maiden over, as in cricket. Um, you may say, well, where's the over? But maiden and maiden over are so synonymous um, that I don't think anybody ever worries about the fact that this doesn't say maiden over. So maiden can absolutely be M. It, it can also just be an over. It's an example of an over. Um, in cricket, so maiden's promise hampered by oh, hampered by him. All right, now I think this means maiden. And the, why do I think this means maiden? Well, I know I'd have to find a definition in this collection of words somewhere, and it's almost always at the start or the end of the word, or so, sorry, the start or the end of the clue. But if we look at the other end of the clue, the other end of the clue is endless exams. Now, there are no synonyms for, en you know, for endless exams. So this is clearly, I think, I think clearly wordplay. And also endless is suggesting we need a word for exams. I don't know what it's going to be. Orals, maybe, or something. And then we're going to chop the end off it. So maiden here. 
promise as well. What's a word for a, a short synonym for promise? I'm thinking vow, oath. Sorry, I haven't got that one. Four down. Fanatical airmen deployed overseas. Gosh, I don't know what that is. Five down. Use Okay, this one's easier. Use heroin regularly for a long time. If you see words like regularly in a cryptic crossword clue, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean regularly as in a time, you know, we did things regularly. It means take the regular letters out of a string of letters. So perhaps the odd numbered letters or the even numbered letters. And if you look at the word heroin and you take the even numbered letters, you would take the E, the O and the N, which is eon. And an eon is a long time. So it's fairly straightforward once we know how to read the clue. Ten across. What may symbolize one rule man breaks? Uh, okay. So again, the, 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 the tricky thing about this clue is to break the clue in the correct position. Remember, there's a definition in here somewhere. Now, the way we read the clue, what may symbolize one rule man breaks? makes it hard to see where the split is, but actually the typeface is helpful here. If we split it after the word one, what may symbolize one? Well, rule man breaks is telling us to break the letters rule man, anagram them, and if we do that, we could make the word numeral. What may symbolize one? Well, in sort of, uh, a numeral is, is an example of a letter representing a number, isn't it? So what might symbolize the number one? A numeral might. And in fact, it would be the numeral I. Uh, six down. Way of working involving a large number of bits. Ooh, okay, well, that seems like a MB or some megabyte or gigabyte or something. Maybe MB here. Way of working will be modus operandi involving Mambo. <laughs> it's Mambo. That was so funny. I got that from, I got that without reading sequence of steps, um, just from thinking about wordplay. So way of working, I thought modus operandi. Um, and then we've got involving A. That's this A here. Remember, in good cryptic crossword clues, there should be nothing superfluous. So consider the meaning of this clue if we'd missed out the, the A from it. Way of working involving large number of bits and sequence of steps. Has the meaning changed at all? No, not one iota has it changed. Therefore, this A is there for a reason, and it's there to provide this part of the wordplay. So M, A, large number of bits, megabyte, uh, sorry, AMB is basically in the middle of MO, a sequence of steps. We're talking about dance steps, so it's Mambo. Now, note, right, I'm immediately thinking me at the start of this. Why? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, di, do. And if we go back to our dictionary and type in me, you'll see it's an abbreviation for Michigan and military intelligence. But as a word, it is the third note of the musical scale. And it also has another spelling, M-E. So let's be careful about that. Normally, when you see it in crosswords, it's M-I. Um, duplicate it. Okay, well, this is... Okay, if we duplicate the note, we get M-I and then M-I again. Add that to carbon, uh, which is... So we're talking about the periodic table now. And what's the abbreviation for carbon in the periodic table? It's C. We get mimic. And if you copy something, you mimic it. So, so far, we're okay. Damage, I'm thinking ma, you ma something, you damage it. Can start to impair it. Oh, damage can start. Martini. That's brilliant. That is a brilliant clue. I just, sorry, and the reason I was pausing there was I couldn't see the definition. I've just realized what it is. Um, so let, let's 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 just admire this clue. And you might be looking at this, and I would not blame you and saying, "What on earth, Simon? You told us there was a definition in every cryptic crossword clue. Well, there isn't. Well, actually, there is, and I will show you why in a moment. Um, although I'm not brilliant at drinks, but I'm pretty sure that this is justifiable. So damage is ma. We sort of botted that. A can is a tin, as in a tin can. 
the start to the word in pair is an I. So that gives us a martini, but that all would only work if it question mark could be a definition of martini. Well, I think that it is a word meaning Italian or abbreviation for Italian vermouth. Ha! <laughs> Italian vermouth. Now, vermouth is a drink with white wine base flavored with wormwood. Now, what this is where my my um, my knowledge I don't know what's in a martini. I know that's terrible, but I don't. Oh, there you go. It's a type of vermouth. It's a cocktail of vermouth gin bitters. Okay, so absolutely. The question mark is probably to indicate that maybe martini and Italian vermouth are very slightly different things. I don't know. But that is that is why this clue is, is legitimate. And isn't it beautiful? I mean, how can, if you presented, you know, an alien with this and you gave them a knowledge of English and then said, well, how da damage can start to impair it. You read that and you think, how can that give Martini? And yet it does so succinctly. I love that clue. Uh, eight down. Partner, colleague, institution, college, welcomes a university, accepting teaching, ultimately. I quite like colleague for that. Um, now, why is it? What's this teaching? Partner, institution. I mean, it must be colleague, mustn't it? The institution is then university accepting teaching ultimately. See, the, the teaching ultimately, I think, is clearly a G. It's the, the final, the ultimate letter of the word teaching. So, so the way I'm reading this, for this to be true, we've got a word for an institution, and that's welcoming A, U for university, which are themselves accepting a G being the fight, the ultimate letter of teaching. So I can absolutely understand A, G and U in the middle of this answer. But that would require C-O-L-L-E-E -E to be a word for an institution. And that I am less comfortable about. I mean, hmm, this just might be ignorance on my part, could well be, but I'm, I'm going to just take that out. I'm not, I'm not sure it's right. I, I think it's right, but I don't get it. I really don't get that. Um, so I'm going to, I mean, that would have given us, was it an A here? That, okay, well, let's see if we can justify. No, it wasn't. It was an E here. That's not the less useful. Okay, so solitary. TV presenter cut short piece. Ugh. I mean, there's so much going on there. I mean, what on earth is TV presenter? The, by the way, the Times crossword by convention will never clue a living person um, except the Queen or the King. Well, I'm sorry, that's a slip of the tongue, except the King now. Um, solitary. I don't know. Parent organised. That seems like an anagram of parent. Engagement around name changing there's a lot of anagram indication there um i haven't got that one either right so this is where it's going to get very tricky if we can't extend any of this any of this good start down i mean this is the key one isn't it 14 down if we could solve that experience the best preparation for features I mean, the best preparation is making me think of an anagram of the best, which is seven letters of the nine we'd need. So to experience something, short synonyms for experience, to do, perhaps? So features. Hmm. 
does. I don't like that. The, the other word there seems to have too many T's, H's and not enough vowels in it. Hmm, don't know. That would give us a D here. Oh, this was the drag one. Okay, so maybe we have we looked at, we've looked at that one. We haven't looked at this one. Grumble about state briefly, wishing to please. Ooh. Grouse? Moan? Don't know. Let's try this one. I mean, look at how long this clue is for a three-letter word. Anticipated means of obtaining satisfaction fails to reach conclusion. So a means... Anticipate due. Okay. So if something's anticipated, it's due. And a means of satisfaction, you might... <laughs> in the olden days, you would challenge someone to a duel. Um, and if we, fail, if we fail to reach the conclusion of the word duel, we would miss the L off the end. And that gives us due. Uh, so that gives us a D, I suppose. Misrepresent policeman's request for seeking compensation. Uh, misrepresent is to dis or d policeman's reason di's for a reason for seeking compensation would be a, a tort a tort in law is a wrong that you could seek compensation for so distort that would give us and I suppose if you misrepresent something, you distort it. So DI, detective inspector, apostrophe S, that's, that literally is this possessive here, apostrophe S, followed by tort. Uh, or you might see this as DI's tort, I suppose, as a policeman's reason um, for seeking compensation. Unfortunately, look at these crossing letters we get from this, nothing interesting. Children's lives pursue action. Okay, there's another sort of legal um uh legal implication of this one children are, are your issue uh lives is he lives he is pursue an action well if you pursue an action in court you sue somebody so is and sue gives us issue which are children now 23 revise pieces penned by journalists okay i've got this one again this is a funny crossword because it's a mixture of clues i can do instantly and ones i have no clue about so um your pieces on in a board game especially the board game chess would be men and they are penned so they're surrounded by uh a word for a journalist well the most common journalist that comes up in times crosswords over and over again is the editor Ed. So we put Ed around men, we get emend, which means revise. And again, look, I'm not getting good checking letters here. Let's try, although Jew is, is consistent with colleague, isn't it? So abridgment of large scale literary volume. I'm thinking tome here, epitome. Yeah, I think, I think it is epitome. Why am I? Why do I think it's this? Well, an abridgment of something that's large scale. If something's large scale, it's epic. If we abridge it, it's just epi without the c at the end. And the literary volume is a tome, so we get epi epitome then. And I think this is an and lit in the sense that if we then read the whole clue, we're looking for a word which is an abridgment of a large scale literary volume. Question mark. Well, an epitome would be. You know, if, if you're the epitome of something, you're an example of it, aren't you? You're a brief example of it, perhaps. So I think that works very nicely. Um, oh, again, I get an E here. Let's try 25 down. Man with outstanding physique died after game. God, I think. Um, again, the, game, the game here is Go. Many people uh, are becoming familiar with Go from the... Uh, the film about AlphaGo. I can't. Is, is it just called AlphaGo? If you've not seen it, you must watch it. For for nerds like me, it was absolutely brilliant. Um, and then D for died. It is a valid abbreviation. Hey, look, I'll prove it. D. Let's find it. D. Uh, I think it's going to be under the small letters abbreviations. Let's try here. 
uh, dead uh, died. There it is. There's, there's dead and died could be used for D. Now that gives us slightly more chance with 28 across. Blew up, detonated, and it's got eaten in it. So I'm very confident that's going to be right because I saw blew up school. So eaten for the school with unfashionable. If something's unfashionable, it's dated. So that's on the outside. So we got that really from the checking letters. We didn't have to do anything clever there. So let's try this one. I turn bananas into processed food. Nutrition. Lovely. Absolutely beautiful wording of the clue and not too difficult. So what's going on? Well, if some if you if you're bananas, you're mad. So if you go bananas, you're sort of Arr! and therefore bananas is being used as an anagram indicator here. So we need to anagram the letters I turn. Let's do that. And then we into the word into is being processed. We need to anagram that as well. And that gives us shon. Put all that together. We get nutrition, which is food. So again, not too difficult, but these checking letters we're getting are dreadful. This probably ends in ing. Let's have a look at this. Leavening up, evening, happening late in the day. Well, this is another of these sort of cleverly worded double definitions. Late in the day is the evening. <laughs> and leveling up, if you level up the scores, you even them. So evening is, and look at this, double E and I. This is just mean. Let's try 20 across. Company, initially recognizing China controls mineral material. Ugh. Alabaster? I don't know why I'm even thinking alabaster. It must involve seas somehow for company. Um, initially recognizing is perhaps the R. So I'm thinking maybe CO for company followed by R at the start. Mineral material. No, no. Let's just see if we can get 21. Bulb working with electricity generator. Di oh, I was going to say diode, but that's not right. Uh, bulb onion. Yes. Okay, an ion. I think ions give things charge, don't they? So if something's working, it's turned on. Electricity generator, I think, is ion. Put on and ion together, you get a word that looks like onion to me, and the onion is a bulb. So, so the reason this clue is clever is that you read the clue and it seems to be talking about an, you know, a, a bulb that you'd screw into a light fitting. Nothing of a sort. Nothing is as it seems in cryptic crosswords. Keen, report a start to the day. Oh, what is that? Keen is one of these awkward words because obviously it can mean eager, but to keen to can be to cry. If you pine for somebody, you might keen for them. Start. You also, reporters, reporters start could be an R, the starting letter of the word reporter, but start to the could be the starting letter, you know, could be T, couldn't it? But we've got N at the end. I'm not sure where that's coming from. I was thinking demon for a moment with mon, M-O-N, being an abbreviation for Monday being. And that would mean reporters, demon, dawn. Is this a homophone? A start to the day is, is the dawn. Dawn. Is there some other spelling of a word that sounds like dawn that would give us a word which means keen? Hmm, not sure. I can't think of it. Um, let's try 18 down. Piece of music is heard to a greater extent. Oh, this seems like a homophone as well piece of music is heard to a greater extent larger mm, that, oh, I've looked I looked at this one didn't I 
well we've looked oh now it's going to get very tricky we've got this sort of lattice coming into the middle and we don't know what any of the answers are i think we've looked oh we haven't looked at that one docking terminal moved within canal so that seems like an anagram of terminal which is eight letters within a three letter word for a canal uh don't know to alter mean docking which I also don't know. I was 15, have I looked at that? Yes, I have. Parent organized, engagement around, name changing, retitling or something, or re... What's an engagement? An action? So I'm wondering about ring as well, parent. We need a five letter word for an engagement. Doing, name changing. Haven't got that. Oh, this is the solitary one that might end in E. TV presenter cut short piece. Or TV presenter cut short, and then a word for a piece. Solitary. If you're solitary, you're quite isolation. You no, know, um, antisocial. Something social. Solitary. Non-social. No, that would that wouldn't end in e, would it? So that would put the kibosh on the partner being colleague. Right, I think we're going to have to think harder. Let's try it. If we can get one across to so set up, um, if you set something up, you constitute it. Uh, except that's too many letters. Clubs supported by important individual. An important individual is a key worker. <laughs> um, set up. Con oh, I can't think of it. It's so annoying. Let's try, oh, the Maiden's Promise one. Promise hampered by endless exams. Maiden's Promise. I haven't got I have got absolutely no clue what that is. This is why this puzzle's hard. Um I'm sure everybody has struggled with this, you know, it's getting it's going to be getting some traction into this lattice. Maybe 14 down. I only looked at that for a bit, didn't I? Experience the best preparation for features. preparation for features is that makeup in some way is that is this some sort of word for no i mean i just think i think it just means features maybe it ends in a plural so maybe this is an s reporters start to the day sun up keen Reporters start. I don't know. This is, this is frustrating now. Really, I've just hit an absolute brick wall, haven't I? Um, what on earth can we do? Uh, let's try this one again. Fanatical airmen. That seems like an anagram of airmen. Because either they're fanatical, they're being anagrammed by the word fanatical, or they're being deployed, which would also be an anagram indicator. So we've got some sort of anagram of airmen. Overseas. 
abroad, obviously, but I mean it's not going to be anything like that. Deployed overseas. Extra fanatical. If you're fanatical about something, you're into it. You are. You. problem into an airman is only 10 letters that's why I've sort of dismissed that thought overseas extra ah, why can't I get it because I'm an idiot that's why um, I thought we thought that might end in one didn't we that would give us an O at the start of this fanatical airmen deployed overseas Golly, this is tricky as, isn't it? Parent organised. Engagement around. Name changing. This could just mean changing. We have, we have a word for... Tran... I was thinking it could be an anagram of parent and then a word for engagement, which would have to be four letters, date maybe, and that would go around N. But that doesn't feel right, does it, with this N being here? And the whole thing would mean engagement. Or it could be an abbreviation for a parent like Ma or Pa. And then an organized engagement around N, I mean, train, changing. Um, metamorphosis, metam I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, we did think that ended in NG, didn't we? Name changing. We're going to have to get one of these. Maiden's Promise. Promise. Hampered. By endless exams. What could, what could that be? Endless exams. Maiden's Promise. I mean, I, I've just got no, I've got no clue about this one. It's very, it's very unusual to have no clue at all about how the clue works. Maidens from the myths, is it for, is it, is it the name of a, name of a maiden? Promise, pledge, oath, vow. Hampered by endless exams. I'd feel a bit better if I could think of a word for exams that I could then make endless without just knocking the S off the end. <laughs> Exams. I, I just don't know what that is. This is so strange. All right, let's try 14 across again. Tiresome activity. I keep, all my brain just, just keeps going to drag now. Um, removing length of cloth. I just don't think D or R or, or indeed A are words or abbreviations for length of cloth. A standard. Removing le maybe a tiresome activity. A length of cloth.
a st bog standard? You do get the phrase bog standard, but what would the tiresome activity be then? Boring? Tiresome could be boring. Tiresome. Tedious. Dull. Boring. don't know and even if that was a B how would that affect this one experience the best preparation for features I think this is the one we've got the most chance of getting I think it means features And I think it's got an anagram of the best involved in it somewhere. <laughs> I think that's going to be at the end. Um, so if all of that is true, the problem is I can't think of a, <laughs> I can't think of a word or a phrase that's going to fit. Um, these you could put these at the end for features i don't like it though i really don't like it now we've put an e at the end of, at the start of this one the keen one no i really don't like it preparation for features something face cream Gosh, it is face cream. I don't know where that's come from. If you experience something, you face it. And the best is the cream, is in the cream of the crop. And it is a preparation for features. Yeah, I mean, that's just very hard. Oh, a fag. A fag is a tiresome activity. Removing length of cloth as standard. Yeah, I think it I think the way this 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 clue breaks down a tiresome activity is a fag and we're removing L, which is a valid abbreviation for length, um from a word that a piece of cloth used as a standard, which would be a flag. So I think it's flag minus L for fag. I mean it's removing length. Yeah, when we're removing the length of the word, that means cloth as standard. I mean, cloth as standard as a definition of flag is so hard because standard means flag on its own. So it, it's it's not easy that. Ah, now, can we get that one? Keen. Moan. Reporters start to the day. Mourn. Gosh, it is, isn't it? This is a homophone. So mourn, M-O-R-N, would be a sort of poetic word for the morning, which is the start of the day. And if we if we spell that differently, but it would sound the same, we would give ourselves M-O-U-R-N. To mourn is to keen. Now we've got a U at the end of this one. So Pete Rondo, piece of music, is heard to a greater extent. It's got to be some, some something like that, hasn't it? Piece of music. Rondo. Is heard. Wow. I mean... Why can't I think of another piece of music that is... All I've got now is Rondo. and I don't think that's right. I think it's another homophone. to a greater extent. Let's see if we can get either of these. Oh, well, we, we suspected this one began with C. Oh, that would, I did think this might be an R here for my mineral material. So that would put a, put a, uh, a hole in Rondo, wouldn't it? What about this one? Grumble, complaint? No, it's not enough letters. 
um, about state briefly, wishing to please. If you're wishing to please, you're quite compliant. You are wishing to please. You are, and this, this would need to be an N or an M on this sort of breakdown. So there's not a word of this, is there more so? I don't know why that's just popped into my head and I to a, if something is to a greater extent it's more so isn't it m o r e and then a new word so more this so if there was a, a piece of music a more so that would fit with both of my potential crossing entries here so I think this would be c o r possibly c o r c if if we're taking the initial letter of china as well then then we need a word for controls mineral material china and if this was all right this would begin like this grumble about state briefly well a grumble might be a complaint and then we're looking for a short word for state i was thinking of a ver a v e r so we put hmm, but we would need an even shorter word it could be a state as in like goa wishing to please very compliant really complacent <laughs> wishing no it's not complacent wishing to please i am and this is all predicated on more so being a thing and i, I don't want to use the dictionary for things i don't know because that, that i view as cheating um so I, i'm prepared to hazard that this is correct um, but I'm not prepared to put it in recognizing China controls material corporeal I just thought about China is that China is not only a country if you were to say my old China you'd be referring to a friend and a short synonym for the word friend is the word pal. Now, if China, if pal was controlling something, you could, could control a short synonym for a mineral, which would be an ore that gives corporeal, which does mean material um, of the body. Well, I mean, that's just absolutely brutal. Um, so can we get this one then? Docking terminal moved. Oh, we thought this was an anagram terminal within canal. to mean docking could end in mint couldn't it there's an alimentary canal I don't understand what that's got to do with the answer <laughs> um, docking Wishing to please, I am quite calm. I I know this. This is on the. This is one of these words that's on the tip of my tongue, and my unfortunately my brain just won't deliver it to my mouth. It's so annoying. Um, fanatical airmen deployed overseas. So airmen anagrammed at the bottom of this, I think, is what's going on. So fanatical five letters. Mavericks flying over. Um, he's a fanatical airman. 
I don't think he's got, I don't think Maverick fits. Um, deployed overseas. If something's, is it extra native or something? Is that this, um, deployed overseas, overseas. Ex extradition, extra. Ah, so annoying. And this one I still can't get. To set up is to. To convene. To set up. To convene a meeting, you set it up. Supported by important individual. Someone is an important individual, but someone is not six letters. Ah, important key. Important big. Set up. Or it could be set up as in a, a sting is a set up, isn't it? Con wow, it's giving me all sorts of bother. I'm so sorry about this. If you're watching this getting frustrated because you've solved some or all of these clues. Solitary. TV presenter. What's a TV presenter? A host? Cut short. Peace. TV presenter. Oh, or an anchor. Oh, an anchorite. There we go. Sorry, that was easy. Um, a TV presenter. Oh, so it's actually the whole of Anchor. Okay, Solitary is Anchorite. Um, TV presenter is an anchor. And a short piece, well, a piece is an item. We shorten it and we get uh, it. Or it could, it could even be a short piece is an item which is cut. But Anchorite is going to be right. So I think we've got to go with colleague here. Um, although I have to say... institution I don't I don't understand or what we talked about earlier there but at least it's another answer in I, I mean it's very unlikely this is wrong 13 down docking terminal moved within canal docking Terminal moved within canal. I mean, and what's this one? This doesn't look like it might be extra something. To set up is to an important individual with E blank E at the end, maybe. Three down. Oh, this is the maiden's promise again. <laughs> ah, I don't want to know. Well, I do want to know the answer, but I, I haven't had any new original thoughts since I last couldn't do this clue. We've got an N. Oh no, we've already had this N in this one. Parent. Organizing engagement. Or organized engagement. Around. Name changing. I mean, it can't mean a parent. It just can't. I think it means changing this one. That, that's 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 what I think is going on. So changing. I mean, organised could be ran, couldn't it? Here. That would give us an R in this one.
docking. Core. Yeah, it's just, it's very hard. This lattice of central, these central answers and the way they interlock and you get very few good letters from them just is killing me here. Fanatical. Overseas International. No, don't like that. Set up. I'm going to confederate. I'm going to constitute. I'm going to convene. I'm going to... <laughs> By important individual. Oh, I'm so, this is so bad. When you're doing this on camera and you're just dying, it's just, there's no, no feeling. Well, there are feelings that are worse, but it, it feels like the end of the world. Grumble about state briefly. Wishing to please. I am completely... Grumble, complain, or complain. A, a grumble is a complaint. I mean, that probably gives us an L here, if that's right. Wishing to please. Com Compliant, I keep wanting to say, but it's it's just not, it's obviously not right. I'm very much com... This was an L, does that help with this Maiden's Promise one? Maiden. Promise hampered by endless exams. You give someone a promise, you give them that your word, don't you? Parent organized engagement around name changing. Gosh, we were, I mean, I can't remember the last time actually I had this much trouble with the Times crossword. Even the ones that have been supposedly brutally difficult, I haven't had this much problem with them. Um, docking. Con concealment. <laughs> uh terminal moved within the thing is i can't think of a three-letter word for a canal here that begins with c and ends in t a cut isn't a canal is it maybe it's it's a docking as in a cut with terminal moving within it and the whole thing means canal which if that was true I think would have to begin like that a canal then if it ends meant curtailment is a docking I've just thought of that well that's going to be right isn't it what is going on here then maybe a cut so a docking is a curtailment it must be cut for canal Is a canal a cut? Not, not. It's not. Obviously, it's not a cinema I, I, I knew or thought of, or I would have, I would have 
alighted on it sooner, but I can see how there's an anagram of terminal in cut here, and that seems to be right. Um, so, good. All right, we've got one more. It's not going to help us greatly, I don't think, though. Parent, or, again, it looks like it's an anagram of parent in the middle here, doesn't it? Organised, parent organised, with a word for engagement, surely, around. Maybe it just means name changing, then. So we need a five-letter word for an engagement ending in ing. Thing? We had thing earlier, but it didn't mean engagement. It meant neuroses. Um, I've got a thing on this evening. That would mean engagement, wouldn't it? So if that was right, name changing would be... I just don't think that is right. I just don't think it is. Pre-printing or something. Changing. No, it's not pre-printing anyway. There's no there's no I in parent. Oh, it's just infuriating me. And you, no doubt. Fanatical. Airmen deployed overseas. Airmen, RAF. I mean, I don't think it's an anagram of overseas. I mean, no, I don't. I really don't. It's an anagram of airmen. And it's pro that I'm sure that anagram is at the end of this. Something marine. Fanatical. Ultra. Ultramarine. That's, that is something. I don't know what. Fanatical is an ultra. Airmen anagrammed is marine. Overseas, ultramarine. It must. Be, I mean, this is one of these big gaps in my knowledge from never having done Latin. I'm sure this is right. We'll check it at the end, assuming I can get through it. But um, okay. So what can compliant com com <laughs> We're close to this one, I think. Wishing to please. I am very... Compliant. I'm <laughs> very... Complacent. <laughs> very... <laughs> Grumble about state. Briefly. Wishing to please. Grumble must be a complaint, mustn't it? Well, although that is very odd now, because the the state briefly is now very odd. Although the n, I mean, I put this n in speculatively, and that might be wrong. I think it's not wrong, but it looks it doesn't look good. And the the parent anagrammed now. Name changing. <laughs> um, it looks like it's got a printing in the middle of it, doesn't it? Although, yeah, I'm not sure actually. Staprin. changing oh golly um well you said you wanted to see me absolutely stuck some of you this is me absolutely stuck i'm not prepared to stop though yet i've only i've got four left haven't i so we're not a million miles away um
Hats off to Andy Fisher getting this done in 12 minutes. That's really, really impressive. Because although I'm explaining everything, I normally reckon the explaining take doubles my time. So you can, you know, look. I mean, this is just, I've just died on this puzzle. Um, parent is, okay. So all my ideas about Paran and Maran, I think, have gone now. I think it's just purely an anagram of parent in the middle of this somewhere. Uh, with a word for engagement around the edge. And the whole thing... I think it means name changing. Name changing. Do we have a re? Oh, maybe it just means maybe it's rearranging. Is it? No. Oh, parent could be rear. Oh, that's. Oh gosh, don't be that. Uh, that would be so misleading. I've just not. I've been totally hoodwinked to pair. Oh, golly, that's so clever. Right. I've been totally and utterly hoodwinked by this. Um, parent is not being anagrammed. To parent is to rear. Organized was ran. I even thought of it, but not in this context. An engagement is a gig. And that goes around N to give us changing. A word rearranging is changing. I mean, that is... It's very clever and absolutely brutal. I mean, uh, to be honest, I'm now coming to the conclusion that if you could solve three down, or even perhaps it's one across in this in this puzzle, you know, th this R would have been very useful. Whatever this letter is might be useful. I keep seeing orangutan down here. I know it doesn't fit, but I've just been reading uh, Kensuke's Kingdom. Um, by Michael Morpurgo, and that's why I've got orangutans on the brain. On the brain, um, one da, one across a setup. Um, uh, an important individual now. That's quite in interesting, isn't it? With U blank E at the end. Um. A what is that? What is that? What's this word then? Clubs supported by important individual. Um, figure can figure. That's easy. That's absolutely appalling. I have got no excuses for that because that's actually easy. An important individual figure. I mean, it's not that is not beyond the ken, is it? That's just witless by me. Um, right. Okay. Now, can we get this one? Maiden's promise hampered by endless exams. Inaugural. A maid. Oh God, that is going to be right. Your maiden voyage is your first voyage. Inaugural means. Um, well, inauguration is a, a very political word, isn't it? Certainly in the States. And that, that's a word most people will be familiar with. So how on earth does this work? Pro if you promise something, you augur it. Um, A-U-G-U-R there. And that's hampered uh, by endless exams. Finals. Well, that's... No, 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 no. You can't do that. I mean, that's brutal, absolutely brutal. So what we were supposed to detect from this is that the word exams was the word finals. You do your finals, you do your exams. You take both ends off that to make it endless. That gives you I-N-A-L. And you put all of that around promise, a word for promise, which is auger. Um, I think that in this crossword is out unreasonable actually um i accept i should have got configure but this this is still very hard okay so what's this complainant Com 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 C 
complacent. Com <sighs> Say, is it complacent then? I wonder if it is. So it's a complaint uh, around a short word for state, which is say, S-A-Y, without its Y. And that gives us complacent. If you're complacent, are you wishing to please? Please. I would have, I would have said if you're complacent, you're smug. So that's, this is another example of my lack of knowledge of the roots of words. Um, but we have got a finished grid now, which is quite exciting, because we were nowhere near this. Uh, before let's click submit and hope that we haven't made an error Terror. we have got it right okay well that is something um, now there is a lot to unpack in some of these answers which I didn't know the meaning of so let's have a look more so first there we go oh, it means a morsel and also a piece of music there it is from the French for morsel so that was that's why more so was right. Uh, let's check complacent. Wishing to please. Obliging. Ah, yeah, you see, I'm confusing that, aren't I, with this, which is the uh, complacent with a C. See, you know, Mark always says that I'm not dyslexic. I'm so dyslexic that I, I don't know the difference between those words. I mean, God, it's outrageous. Um, okay, oh, ultramarine. Let's have a look at that. So an ultra for a fanatic. Let's check that for a starter. Um, ultra, extreme, an extremist. Uh, and then ultramarine, overseas. It's just as simple as that. It's just a straight definition. I think I've seen it before as a colour, like aquamarine. But ultramarine, that was not on that was not on the tip of my tongue at all. Um, what else could we look at here? Uh, to auger, maybe we'll check that because that's that's one of these words that I often misspell as well. So you can see it's somebody who tells the future and therefore to foretell from signs or to guess or conjecture but it, there's also the word of course auger which is something carpenters use to bore with um, and it, that comes up as homo, homophone uh, fodder quite often and often is very very hard to spot so I mean there are a few there are a few difficult tricks in this puzzle for sure configure is an outrageous that that's me being frankly dumb um I, I mean there is no excuse if i'd got configure earlier i think i would have got inaugural because that was pretty quick once i got the eye wasn't it um i still would have thought it was outrageous but maybe even if i had you see without the r there inaugural is more difficult although i still think i'd have got it because there's very i blank a blank g doesn't have very much that it could be but rearranging I was so badly misled by 15 across not being an anagram of parent this is a very clever trick in cryptic crosswords to put something like parent organized and it not and it be rear ran rather than an anagram of parent especially when all the checking letters are reinforcing your belief it's an anagram of parents very clever and then complacent versus com well that's just my ignorance again and for, for that it's been on display face cream was clever as well wasn't it this is another example of this constructor is very good at this um you know the best preparation will be for experienced cryptic crossword set solvers they will be thinking that's an anagram of the best and to, to sort of move your mind away from that is not easy and then you know there's still other stuff in here that probably took some people oh colleague i never understood that let's go and check that that relied on there being a word collie which there certainly isn't so how does this work partner obviously is a colleague institution welcomes a university accepting I, 
okay. All right, I think I now I now could justify this. Although again, I think this is difficult to justify. I think what's happening here is that the college is being used as a synonym for institution. Um, and the word college, the constructor is trying to say that the word college is welcoming A and U, U being a valid abbreviation for university, um, to surround the G that college already has in it. So sort of the word college is augmented by an A and a U around its G. Now, I think that's difficult because actually what these words say is that we are, we need a word for an institution that needs to welcome A, G, U. You know, there's no indication that the G, which is the final word or letter of the word teaching, is 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 already in the inst the word for institution. I mean, it's it's just I mean, it's very unusual, and I think a little bit of a stretch. Um, it's a seriously clever puzzle and very hard. And well done to all those of you who who got it done. Uh, I will look at the comments with interest. Please be kind. That's when I enjoy the comments the most is when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.